and welcome along and welcome to Erlingrat, a fictional map based in the Alpine region of Europe and of course part of the upcoming Alpine Farming DLC for Farming Simulator 19. Uh, this is awesome. Uh, big thank you to Giant Software for giving me early access to this and, uh, and letting me have a play around for a few days before its official release. Uh, we are going to have a look around the map uh, today. Uh, and uh, I'm going to do a first look at the map. We will be doing a look at all the equipment that comes in this DLC. Uh, and that should be out tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, but first, yeah, we're going to have a look around this map. Because this is this is a really nice looking map. Uh, for, for Farming Simulator, one of the nicest maps, I think, that uh, Giants have ever released for the game. So we're going to have a drive around. This here, though, is our starting point. This is the main farm. Uh, and you can see that you start with a fair amount of equipment. We will go through the equipment uh, before uh, before the end of this video. You start with cows as well. So you start with a cow area. I think I think this is a new cow shed uh, that's, that comes with this map. Uh, so really like that. Uh, the cows are looking really good. Somebody said earlier, uh, I think it was uh, Twog in his live stream that the cows look better and i think they might do i think the textures might have been improved on this map for the cows so that is really cool um but this yard nicely featured you start off with lots of bales and uh, equipment to do grass stuff and a nice uh, uh a nice silo there yeah i do like this nice little silage uh, bunker as well really really good very very nice so we are going to have a drive around this map we're going to have a look uh, before I do that I am going to bring up the main map we're going to use the default truck here for this seeing as we're just logging in with the, uh, the truck itself so let's reverse this out and once we've got this out of here it's been a while since I've driven this truck around so we'll have a go with this and uh, before we do that, we're going to have a look at the map. So here we are. Here is the overall map of uh, Erlingrad. You see we've got... Well, most of it's interesting map, this. I think only about a third of the map has fields. Uh, we've got 25 fields, I think it is. Uh, uh, something like, yeah, 25 fields by the looks of things. I can't see a number higher than that. Uh, and they're all... There's, they're all sort of odd shapes. There's not. There's only a couple of fields, like field 20, 21, 23, uh, that is an absolute rectangle or square. Everything else has an angle to it or has an odd shape like field 11. What is our oddest shaped field in here? 22 might be the oddest shaped field in here. But it's, it's good to see that we're getting uh, default maps now that aren't just square fields uh they've got different angles and things like that but more interestingly as well on here is all of these grass areas and this really shows the focus of this map this is massively and mostly a grass map uh which is which is absolutely brilliant i love that that is the main focus of this map if we have a look at how much things cost, um, our smallest area on here, looks like the fields are all sort of separate areas, which I love. That's nice. Uh, we I do sometimes like it that you can buy some in sections, but we've got, they seem to have gone with the thing that a lot of other map creators have gone for recently, where they've gone each field as a separate purchasable bit of land. Smallest would appear to be 21 by the looks of things. Field six any cheaper? No. So 92,000 is your cheapest field. And when you're a new farmer, actually, that's that's quite tough. Because new farmer, you only start with this area here. It's worth 330,000, but it has no fields with it at all. Uh, interestingly, there are, there are no fields. So you are starting off doing grass. And I think the equipment reflects that as well. Uh, so, yeah, very, very much a grass focus on this map. Uh, yeah, so the cheapest the cheapest is 92. The most expensive, we're looking at about 400,000, I think. 
So still less than half a million for the most expensive. And that's this area over here, uh, which is 437,184. And yeah, it's a really big area. So hopefully we can get over and uh, and have a look at the roads and things over that way. Yeah, so we can take, uh, we'll head out of here and we'll go round, come through here, down. It's going to be a very, very windy journey that we take through this map. But we should be able to see most of the map doing it. Uh, it looks like all the cell points and everything though are clustered in the middle of the map in the town. So uh, we should be able to pass all of those fairly easily. So let's get on the road. Let's go and have a look. Um, we're going to want to turn around for this. I just noticed this truck isn't quite right. Uh, quite white. It's uh, it's a slightly off grey, interestingly enough. Uh, but uh, that's a that's a minor detail that actually doesn't mean that much. So we want to head north from here, I think. Uh, looking at this, yeah, we're heading up to fields at 25. And you can see how pretty this map is already. All these nice, new, colourful flowers, new grass textures, new uh, new plants and flowers in all the grass. It's a really, really bright map, this. I mean, it helps that, that while we're doing this first look, we have this nice, bright, colourful, sunny day. And I re actually, I really like the lighting on this map. One of the things that uh, that people have said, um, it's not a particularly something I agree with, but a lot of people have not liked the lighting in FS19. And I think the lighting on this map is absolutely gorgeous. It really, really is. Uh, field 25 to our left there. Lots of space, uh, to our right, sorry. Lots of space to uh, extend that field and make it bigger. Oh, my truck is uh, my truck is being a little bit wavy, or maybe that's just me. So uh, yeah, it's it's looking. Oh, I love how colourful this map is. Absolutely amazing. And look at all of these grass fields. So these are massive grass areas for you to head up to and cut. And yeah, if you're looking for a map to do a lot of silage and a lot of grass work and a lot of that kind of thing. Or to make your own fields on. Because these are... You could make some really big fields from all of these areas. This is the map for you, I think. It's it's a map that does something... Already to me, it's a map that does something that I've been looking for from Farm Sim Maps for quite a bit. Uh, and that is, it's very open to customization. You can, uh, if you start on Start From Scratch in this or on New Farmer, uh, you don't have any farm buildings or anything. It's It's got that whole philosophy behind it of you can build your own yard up from nothing. Um, the BGA here is, is where we are at the moment. I'm liking the size of that nice mini BGA, but considering the amount of silage you're going to do on here, wow. Um, but it's, you know, it's a really, really customizable map from what I'm seeing so far. Uh, we are going to head across here. You just saw the train go past. The train actually heads off the map. Um, I know when I was seeing the demonstration of this a while ago. If you jump in the train, then uh, it will turf you out before you before it disappears off. Uh, and it actually heads off to Felsbridge, the train on this map, uh, which is quite cool. But this is this is such a bright and colourful and an interesting and well detailed map. Giants have excelled themselves with this, and it's no different as we drive up into these hills. Look at this. This is utterly gorgeous. Lots of uh, ability to do forestry up here as well, so that has not been forgotten. Wow. <laughs> Oh, I am blown away by this. This is just an utterly gorgeous map. I think... I was considering not doing a series on here. I think we're going to have to. I think I'm going to have to do something on here and have a play around. So we'll uh, we'll maybe see what happens. Uh, maybe for once do something starting with New Farmer and starting with the uh, default stuff in Seasons. I'd really quite like to do that on here, I think. I think it's a perfect map for it. I cannot get over this view. 
Look at that aqueduct. That is utterly gorgeous. This this rivals some of uh, this rivals the most stunning maps that we've seen in Farm Sim. And we have seen some stunning maps in Farm Sim recently. It is utterly amazing this. I love it. I oh man. I absolutely love this map. There's not there's not a direction. Oh, I'm crashing into the barrier now because I'm just trying to take in the scenery. There is not an area or a direction I've looked so far. I'm having to take my hand off the mouse because I'm doing that thing that I've been I've been told off for doing in map first looks before, where I'm turning the camera too quickly. But I want to look everywhere. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. We'll head up the top here and we're we're sort of heading round. And this is we're coming round to the area I think that is the most expensive bit on the map. Nope, we're not even there yet. We're up in the top corner. We're still up in these uh, mountains. You could get lost up here and it just yeah. There is not a direction. As there's not a direction on this that doesn't look utterly, utterly amazing. I am... I'm blown away. I'm speechless. I really am. Just uh, just imagine uh, getting these areas, cutting this, and, and that view as you're cutting this. It's just... It is an utterly beautiful map, this. I'm... I, I, I'm, I'm now... I, I realise I am now repeating myself. I am now uh, saying the same thing over and over. But I cannot get over this. I... <laughs> I think I'm in love with this map. This is incredible. And it's just the way these roads wind up and round and down. And it has been... You can see that this has been built to uh, accommodate the equipment that comes with the DLC... The, the the absolute focus on the grass side of things and uh, and and grass uh, silage creation and hay making and all that kind of thing on here is just yeah is is exactly what this map is for and then I think it's seasons because this map is seasons ready as well no maze plus in it because it is a, a default map and and that isn't surprising um, but. Absolutely built to work with Seasons. Will, uh, you know, completely Seasons compatible. What it will be... Can you imagine this in the snow? Or with uh, in the autumn with some of the trees and things like that? Do we want to go down that way? No, that, that way takes us almost back to... Oh, no, that takes us into the town. So that is... Yeah, that is the way we want to go. We'll come out the mountains and these viaducts that are, are built into it and the, the roads with the barriers on the side and this will this will look absolutely stunning any time of year with seasons in here. And I think I think this has been built with seasons in mind. Very much. You know, it's gorgeous in the default game. It is gonna be even more stunning once you get seasons into this map. I'm getting a couple of FPS drops. I think that might be more my computer than the map. Uh, we, we tend to be... So looking at this, I'm getting sort of 65 uh, to 70 FPS most of the way around. A uh, couple of places that have just sort of been pushing it. But even even you take in a view like that, I'm still getting over 60 FPS with the uh, FPS limiter turned off. So it's it's yeah. I don't I don't think that's the map. And into the town, and the town here is really well done as well. Look at look at this. So much detail in here. Now we want to try and hit as many of the cell points and the shop here as we can. So I'm going to start with the first cell point which is to our left here 
and then hopefully we can nip down the back and have a look. Now this here, what is this one here? Oh, look at the, the chipped off uh, plaster from the outside of that building. That is incredible. Okay, so I have missed the cell point. What is that cell point back here? There we go. Round we go. And just down here we have, yeah, a cell point, right? This, oh, there it is. So what is this cell point? That's, okay, so this doesn't label what it is. Uh, oh, yeah, we can tell here. Oh, this is the cheese factory. So this is milk is what that is. That is a milk cell point right there. I would guess. And maybe other stuff. Uh, what else do you need to make cheese? I'm not sure what else you need to make cheese. I'm going the wrong side of the road. But we're, fortunately, no vehicles coming. And then we've got more cell points over here. So this here is the supermarket. So that's the cell point uh, around the back. Uh, we've got another one here. So they're all sort of clustered. Uh, spinnery. So that is for wool. We have the shop and the petrol station here, or the fuel station here. So that is the fuel station. And if we turn around in the entrance to that... Oh no, can we get... Nope, that is just parking. So the shop is just the other side of here. We head around this way. Yeah, that is that is the cheese factory. We've then got round here. Um, the shop in there. So that's Craft Land Mansion AG. And then in here, excuse me, madam. We've got another cell point. Which I'm not sure which one this is. But yeah, this is a cell point here. So this will be something. I'm not sure what that is. What is that? That is. Oh, that's the chocolatier. That's the chocolate factory. And then we have another one just around the back here. And we should be able to hopefully squeeze through. Yeah. And yeah, GLW. This is the loading point. I oh, know that is that is a grain merchant in there, I think. And then just down here, I think, is where we load up the train as well. The train is oh no, that is where you load up the train by the looks of things. On this side is a different cell point. Yeah, that's where you load up the train. This is ah this is our um, wood cell point in there. And I'm guessing somewhere down here. Oh, that's a lime station. So there must be somewhere to sell your wood chip around here as well. Yeah, that's that's the sawmill is what that is. And yeah, and there's the wood chip cell point as well. Okay. So we're going to head along this road here now. And then we're going to head... Well, let's have a look at this. We haven't got anything up that way. We have missed the lime station and the grain mill down the bottom there. So we'll go now. We'll come back to those in a minute. Uh, we're going to head up along this road here and bring ourselves to... Wow, must be this big cell point up here. This looks again like a uh, railroad loading point. Yeah, you've got both fill and empty here. Which is really nice. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Uh, and if we... So I'm going to just jump out of the truck here and have a look. And do we have a fill point? Yes, there we go. So an emptying point four and a fill point. There we go. And we don't want to be on the railway tracks too long because we will get hit. But that is, uh, yeah, so the train is fully functional here. It's not a circle like many other, uh, many of the, uh, or the other default maps. Uh, it is a, uh, it does run 
just straight from one side to the other. And yeah, you get dumped out of the train if it, you try to, to leave the map via it. Let's head up here because we have the animal market. Wow, I like that animal market. That is very cool. Yeah, and uh, a nice big loading bay in here for that as well. Wow, this is... I like this map a lot. I think you've probably got that by now. But I do like this map a lot. And, oh uh, yeah, I think I'm doing the whole thing and moving the mouse again. Uh, round the back here, we have another cell point. Or is this a live... Nope, we do. We have a cell point for something as well. So that's interesting. Two different bits around the animals here. Not sure what this was the cell point for. What is that the cell point for? Uh, no, that is... Oh, that is the cell point for straw. Wow, that is going to be fun to get any kind of dolly trailer into there. <laughs> that is, that is going to cause some heartache for a few people. Very cool, but it is. And there we go. There's the train going past. We're going to head this way. And we're going to meander a little bit more round. Uh, try and take in this map a little bit more as well. It is, it is a lovely map, though. I love how flat this bottom part is. Right here in the valley. Some nice, large fields that you could merge into even larger fields. Uh, and then we're going to come back this way. We're going to take in that cell point we've missed, uh, which is just up here. Look at that. That is absolutely amazing. Just looking straight down the valley like that. That aqueduct. Uh, sorry, that's a viaduct. It's a viaduct for the train. That just dominates this map. Looking that direction. Absolutely incredible. Really, really love that. And then over here, we've got a nice big... I'm just going to go the opposite way of the traffic. Uh, uh, we've got a nice big grain cell point here. What's this? This is uh, the Trido. What does the, what the potato taste of the Friday? Oh, there's some cool stuff around here. Um, yeah, we've got a cell point here. That's very neat. Uh, yeah, so grain cell point. And then this. What is this? Okay, so this is not a cell point. Oh, it's a lime station. That's what we've got over here. So there's a couple of lime stations kicking around the map as well. Uh, that's good to see. Yeah, try it. What do potatoes hate the most? It's Friday. It's interesting to see some real life adverts kicking around this map. That is uh, that is quite cool. I'm going to have to, there's going to be, I have a feeling we're going to have quite a few little Easter eggs kicking about all over this map. Frizzy Spritz Extreme. This is, this is just awesome. This is just such a cool map. Really, really is. Yeah, I'm going to have to go and look at all the adverts on here because these are all, um, there's, there's going to be so many little Easter eggs and like that. Things like that in here now. Now that I've seen that, it's just... Wow. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous map. Uh, it is absolutely perfect for this DLC. And it is going to be a joy to play. Really, really is. Yeah, I love this. I am going to have to have a go on this. Absolutely going to have to go through on this map. Nice rough bit in the yard here as well. A little bit uneven, which is, again, it's quite cool. Right, let's turn our truck off and we will have a look at what equipment that we have in our garage when you are starting as a new farmer. So it uh, looks like most, if not all of this is from the DLC. So uh, you've got a Lint, Lint Track 130, that is 136 horsepower. Uh, you've got the um, uh, Riggy... 
track uh, SEK50 electric with 68 horsepower. That Wow. I did not realize that was quite that low in horsepower. That is a very little tractor. Um, and you've got 100 horsepower in the Brewer 61, uh, 6105 uh, cabless tractor there. Uh, nice little range of tractors there. 100, so 136 is the highest. 68 horsepower. That is a tiny tractor. Uh, you've got a uh, push along mower. The CC66, uh, that's quite cool. I, I like that that's uh, something that's down farm sim. Uh, st uh, standard liquid, lizard pickup, that is something, of course, that is base game, as is the forthright uh, HW80 trailer. Uh, so, yeah, liking those. Uh, Pottinger Servo 25 plow, uh, 85 horsepower requirement on that lovely little plow uh, that comes in this DLC. Uh, a Sepnusen, uh, of oh, Sepnusen, sorry, F two forty front uh, front mower. That is forty horsepower for that, so that's good. Pottinger Alpha Alpha Hit uh, four point four H uh, wind rower. A, a Pottinger Top three four two. I know, sorry, Tedder is the Alpha Hit. Uh, the top 342 is the wind rower. Uh, and then you've got a Pottinger Boss Alpine 251 uh, forage wagon. That's very cool. The Pottinger Impress 125F Pro baler on here as well. That is, that's 120 horsepower. That is not a massive horsepower requirement on that. Uh, and then you've got the uh, Flegel Schmetterling. Bail uh, caddy, I think that is. Uh, yeah, that's for carrying around bales. Uh, you've got Lizard MKS8 uh, milk trailer. I think that oh, that holds milk and water. Um, and then you've got the Aquatrans uh, 7300S Joskin water trailer. An, F, uh, an F30 front loader with bucket and bale spike from Stoll. Uh, sewer weight, an SB700. Uh, the cow pasture, uh, the grain silo, the bunker silo, and the easy shed one there as well. Water station as well, uh, which is great to have that near the farm. Electrics charging station uh, for your uh, for your riggy tractor, uh, and the farmhouse, which is a looks a lot like ski chalet I've stayed in, which would make sense because this is in the Alps. Or in the lowlands of the Alps. So it is absolutely that kind. That is a huge farmhouse. We can't go in that, can we? No, we can't. That is a massive farmhouse. Wow. Um, so, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. That is a really good setup of equipment. As I said uh, at the beginning, it's, it's a setup of equipment that very much matches this map and your starting situation. Which is doing cows... Uh, with grass and having no fields. So, yeah, that pretty much covers it. Um, and, uh, and yeah, is what I would expect. So, there we go. That is a first look at the Erlingrad map uh, that comes with the Alpine Farming DLC for Farming Simulator 19. We will be having a uh, very in-depth look at this map and the DLC itself over on Twitch for the next uh, for the next two nights. So Tuesday and Wednesday evening um, from 8.30 over on Twitch. Come and join me. We're going to go and have a look at this. And uh, and you can ask me about it. And we can go and have a look and, uh, and see what else. And if there's something you want to have a look at on this map, come along, say hi, and, uh, and we'll go and have a look at it. Um, I will also be doing a full look at all the equipment that comes in this DLT. That should be out tomorrow as well. So please look out for that. And uh, if you want to get this map and have uh, and get the DLC, there is a link in the description where you can order it directly from Giants and to help support the channel. So uh, please check that out as well. And with that, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this first look. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.